Neo Black Movement of Africa (NBM) Worldwide Uhongbeni Zone don't lay foundation for the building of a multi-purpose arena for Orion Usawende Dukdon community for Uwo and the local government area of Edo State to save and reduce money with them they spend to rent hotels and event centers for their meetings and events. This foundation laying a part of their event to celebrate the Uhongbeni Zone annual award and dinner night where the team na cultural diversity, celebrating differences and building bridges. For the foundation lane, the Deputy National Presido MBM Worldwide Eribo Evanta on behalf of the National Presido Olorugu Eseka called JP can lay the first block down for the foundation and come offer prayers for the community and members of the movement. This house, we go live long to see him to completion. Yes, sir. Men we go contribute to this building, not go hard us. Yes, the leadership of this movement, led by our able national head, Go there for in time to commission this house to completion. Yes. It go help this zone mobilize more men to build this house to completion. Yes. Because we don't bless this land, this community will be blessed. Yes. There shall be no killing in this community. Yes. A little boy in this community will grow strong. Yes. Elderly people will grow older. Yes. Women will give birth fruitfully here. Yes. Right from the day where we step our feet, enter this community. Blessings and prosperity go into this land. Yes, this arena where we won't build, so we're not going to regret why we build them. Yes, we're not going to remember regret why we start them at all. Yes, My brothers is everywhere with all of us. Yes, brothers we are, and brothers we go remain. Yes, On behalf of the national president of this movement, Olorogu Esekako, head he is and head he will remain indeed. I have laid the foundation stone of this arena for the service of God and for the benefit of Wangbeni in particular. For their talk with our three person, Ifunaya Okweze, the Deputy National President, Eribo Evanta, Presido NBN Uwogbeni Chapter, Osazu Wachas Enobakere, and Sir Valentine Osage, come to Oxe Belet Sweden Wella for this project and come also to on other Agbonga projects they plan to do for the community. And we come today, come lay foundation for our arena. Where one of our chapter won't be starts today. So I did here to represent our organ to lay the foundation so that uh, where will they meet? And um, you see the land as big. So space day for many other things like skill acquisition center, like schools and every other thing. So now also development we bring for the community. That make us day here where we're today and a team of joy for our organization. This thing eh. It's with my belly well, well, oh. As I did, so I did jolly seriously. This na na the dream where I get because now from me they cut this place come out. I think and think and think and when I want come out, I say no. For where I for be your guard that time for the local chapter, I say eh eh. If we get it like this, it go too sweet for Benin. And since we bring one Benin come this chapter. Now from one jolly to another one, from one achievement to another one. So me in particular, my personal thing for me, and I did very happy, and I thank God for today. What do you tell other chapters concerning within this chapter? Don't you? Make their open eye where where make that they look, make their open ear make that they learn. Say from one block, one sand, you will achieve this kind of thing. This is not the vision of the organization. Expansion, not be make us. Our God say, now expansion and image laundry. And I will stand the put. If you never do your own, go start now. Or me to work when you may teach you how to do it. And a very great thing, you know, a lot of persons never even believe, say, today will come to reality. You know, because anytime one whole meeting, it cost us so much to get place. So we can look and say, okay, we will get our own place. We will call our own. Why are people feel they come come the whole meeting? And we will intend to even get a ski acquisition center also attached to this place. Okay. I will thank my the members of this chapter, you know, for joining me. I will thank my council chairman and my other executive. And uh, also not to forget the building committee. We stand, we all come together, we get like mind. They say divided house, not if you achieve something. But this particular thing today does show say we be united. So I want to thank them. And those who still support us. Now, this one is an agony for me to tell them, see me they not relent. Let us work together to see how we can complete this project within one year. Yes, I'm very, very happy because uh, this is uh, a dream we all dream of. And by the grace of God today, we've done 
lay the foundation which to show say the dream is coming up alive. And by grace of God, God will help us see us through. It's not a photograph of uh, what we intend to put for here. We, in our association with the into humanity, our screen skill acquisition center will be here. Um, um, some other medical facilities like the health center will still be here to ensure so the community get good health care and skills acquisition. Still on top of the jollification to mark the honor award night, the members of NBM Hogbeni Zone co enter Western Boys Mini Stadium for novelty match final between Oregbeni Sub Zone and Eho Urokosa, where Oregbeni Sub Zone win 2 0 after 90 minutes of play. <laughs> For the make by the way be the honor award and dinner night with the team cultural diversity celebrating differences and beauty bridges. Presido Uwogbeni chapter Usazuwa Chas in Obakere for an opening address. Contrary salute to everybody we take our time to take tender for the award night. A contact say. Once more, I want to thank everyone for taking their time, not minding their various of this is the moment of the year. I will extend appreciation to the national head of this movement, the Honorable Sikako, the National CP, Umbo, and national executive members of NDA present here today. Permit me to stand on the existing protocols. Today, the NBM of Africa won't win the chapter. In the spirit of nationhood and pan Africanism, we ponder on, on a sensitive topic titled Cultural Diversity, Celebrating Differences and Building Bridges. To me, this topic, though short, but to cover the subject matter, especially to this ethnically and religiously polarized Nigeria. Nigeria, though referred to by late Chief of Abhini and World War, as a male geographical expression, is a country with religious and ethnic diversity. But as the song goes, there is unity in one diversity. To every black man worldwide, irrespective of the cultural diversity, there is a common bond among us, which is the Africanist inclination of us all. The NPM of Africa, being the foremost partner for the black man, in the area of black consciousness and solidarity, have become the foremost voice of the black man worldwide. So as not to dive into this topic too much, let me assure you all that the topic will be adequately dealt with by the, by the notable discussions and knowledge will be passed. Once again, I welcome you all to a the zone of NPO of Africa. Regional Coordinator Edo South Edo Wimpe, Regional Coordinator Edo North Sedenu Ayuba, Pa Godwin Ogbede, Conchuk Mart on the theme of the annual award where be cultural diversity, celebrating differences and building bridges, and can urge them to get respect for their different cultures. NGM as an organization represents the spirit of Africanism and what the black man represents on the other side. We I am an Africanist organization. We fight against oppression and we support the next level of society. So I call it not all of us to go back home and have a thing. It's not about people coming around to say NDM, some persons here, and not those people. Out of every 12 people, Cultural diversity, from its definition, shows that cultural groups or ethnic groups 
religion coming together in a society. These are things that we appreciate in the society because the society, as we speak, is made up of different groups, different religion, different culture, different tribes. All of these come together to form a society. And when we live peacefully together, we tend to tap from each and every one of these groups, from the religious body, from the ethnic, and even political beliefs. You see people coming together to agree on certain things that are not of Benin. At the end of the day, we discover that these things this person has been are originally from the Yoruba tradition, or they are from the Hausa tradition. Neither is a Muslim or Christian doctrine that has been in existence because yourself and these other people live together. These are some of the things that cultural diversity can create within our society. And by the time we live peacefully together with these groups, we tend to learn different skills. For instance, I'm an affair by man, I'm an of the man. But I have learned so many things that the Benin does that when I am in Benin, I adhere to them strictly. And some of these things gives me new skills, new talent, new ideas, new innovation to life. So cultural diversity has to do with all of this. As an organization, you will agree with me that majority of our friends are members of other groups, other society, other clubs. You cannot restrict your friendship. You cannot restrict your relationship to members of this organization alone. The ability for you to peacefully live and coexist with, have a peaceful coexistence with other members of other groups gives you that opportunity to mix up ideas to look at extreme certain things these people are doing and in extreme this I guess and some of their culture you tend to learn new things that will further enhance whatever you are doing in your library, your daily activities and by the time you put some of these things to practice you discover that you have a broader knowledge of everything about the society and when you have a broader knowledge about the society it brings about development we are divided along tribal lines, we are divided along cultural lines, we are divided along religious lines, we are divided along politics. Every strata you think of, Nigeria has been divided. But our forefathers did not envisage who will be in this kind of uh, Situation. Whether we like it or not, we only have to learn from the lessons that we have that we have uh, we have seen. Yes, we have experienced over time. Diversity. When there are differences, cultural differences, political differences, all these can be put together as division or disunity. But what I'm trying to say, like what my son, this uh, uh, Zona said that. We must celebrate our differences. We must celebrate our differences and also build bridges to take us across this diversity. We cannot hide it, we cannot run away from it. But the bridge, what I like is this uh, topic was that let us build bridges. We must celebrate our differences. The religious differences is not something we have to run away from. You are a Muslim man, you are a Hindu man, you are a, an atheist, you are an ancestral, whatever you believe in, believe it. I will not use my own to square your own. The cultural diversity, the main topic here is that it's about appreciating that the society is made of many different groups with different interests, skills, talents, and needs. If we appreciate that, that we are made differently in this world, then in that diversity, 
you recognize that it's not a it's not a challenge, it's not a setback. It's for us to understand and appreciate our differences. To end the ceremony, they come give awards to the Presido Uwogbeni chapter Usazuwa Chas in Obakere and other Ogmoge persons for their astounding contribution to the development of MBM worldwide. Make on another forget say, as we see him, now so we did talk him. We know they take blame. From Benin City, Ekata Ujisali, TMC TV News.